Hey everybody, my name is Robert Daffern and today I will be talking to you about the Metalcore band, A Day to Remember. So A Day to Remember is originally based out of Ocala, Florida, which is eventually mentioned in one of their um, later albums, Common Courtesy. Um, a Day to Remember is a metalcore band formed in 2003 pulling from genres like pop, punk, hardcore, and heavy metal, they kind of created a sound that is not only fairly unique to their to themselves, but also um, one that has created a pretty big following for themselves within their genre. Um, the members include uh, the singer Jeremy McKinnon, who is an original, who's the original singer, uh, guitarist, uh, Tom Denny, now replaced by Kevin Scaff uh, and Neil Westfall, uh, their bassist Joshua Dunn, and their drummer Bobby Scruggs, now replaced by Alex Shelnut, who is the one in the air <laughs> in the picture that you can see. Um, in 2005, they pooled their money together to create their first album and their name was Treason, which sold around 8,000 copies or 80,000 copies just by word of mouth, which is pretty incredible. Um, after that, their next step was signing with the uh, Chicago-based label Victory Records, um, which unfortunately is a choice that they would later regret. Um, but after signing with them, they released their first album produced, uh, label produced album for those who have heart uh, with their new drummer, Alex Shelnut. Um, next is their album, Homesick, which is where the band truly took off. Uh, they uh, produced this album in 2010, after which uh, their guitarist, Tom Denny, was replaced by uh, Kevin Scaff, who was the guitarist for the band uh, Four Letter Lie. Um, after this, um, in 2010, they put out uh, an album called uh, What Separates Me From You, which would bring them their first gold status uh, song titled All I Want. Um, the following year, um, as previously mentioned, they found themselves in a dispute with their label, which would lead to a lawsuit and the eventual separation of the band from Victory Records. Um, their next self-released uh, full-length album, Common Courtesy, came three years after uh, this separation and would peak at the 34th spot on Billboard's international top 200, um, which would only be passed by their most recent 2021 release, quite a, quite a long uh, time gap, um, You're Welcome, landing at number 15 on Billboard's top 200. Um, the genre of metalcore it consists of layered vocals, giving it their unique sound for screaming, um, lyric, uh, not lyrics, uh, guitar breakdowns, drum breakdowns, and the uh, standard verse chorus formula. Um, the look is very, um, I mean, it's right there in front of you, the picture. You can see it's skinny jeans, band t-shirts, uh, tattoos, and stretched earrings uh, with Vans shoes as one, two, three, four of them are wearing. <laughs> Um, the attitude that not only the bands, but also the uh, fans of the genre list, uh, follow is just, they're just there to have fun. And if the opportunity presents itself, break some stuff, be it uh, guitars, amps, uh, stages, or even just the occasional nose in a mosh pit. Um, and the where, I mean, throughout the mid 2000s from 2000 to 2010, the, the majority of metalcore bands would constantly flock to uh, Warp Tour, which is where I was first introduced to them. It's where I first uh, saw A Day to Remember and 
fell in love with the genre as a whole and would later um, work to get my band to play at as well. Um, a day to remember is one of the most well-known and prominent bands in the genre. Um, and they truly have created quite the uh, following, be it through their collaborations with other bands, their uh, the influence they've had on bands throughout their tenure in the genre. And just honestly, they're just, they're, they're amazing music. They have a real way of um, creating music, be it through covers or just through their unique drumming sound. They, they truly are a band that stands out in the genre. Um, yeah. <laughs>